Here's Marvel Legends Tarantula and the Rose. These two figures are on the retro cut back. And look at Tarantula. He doesn't come with any accessory at all. Huh. The Rose, however, this is how Marvel Legends figures should come with alternate hands and other accessories. With the amount that we are paying, we really deserve more accessories for each figure. And because it doesn't come with any accessories, it doesn't have the choking hazard warning, unlike the Rose. Huh. And the words here, Tarantula Kick for Tarantula, but for the Rose, Flower Power. <laughs> and here's the back of the cut bag with the artwork and the one sentence bio as usual. Let's get the figure out. First up, Tarantula. I think this is going to be a short one because it doesn't come with any accessories at all and that it is on the Sunfire body mold. They really should have used the Renew Your Vows body for Tarantula, especially that he is a martial arts character, always doing hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Having him on the Sunfire body mold is kind of a letdown. He could have pulled off better poses if he had a mid-torso joint instead of the ab crunch. At the front, he looks just like in the comics with all the black lines and the tarantula symbol on the torso. But at the back, he is just bare. No black lines at all except for the forearm and the calves. And it has that hole at the back. I don't really understand why the head is blue and the rest of it is black. Because even in his early appearances, his head does look kind of blue but dark blue. And that is also together with blue shading on the other black lines or black parts of the costume. So to have the rest of them in black and then just the mask in blue is really kind of... Um, I'm not really sure where the accuracy of this appearance is from. They could have just followed his modern appearance and have the black mask instead. And for the stingers at the feet, it is a separate piece but it is glued so you can't take this off. It is made from soft plastic and yeah, that's about it. Not removable or anything. I think the head sculpt looks great. I like that he has a slight smirk to his face. And there's actually a bit of paintwork at his chin, I think to represent stubbles on his face. For the strap at the back of his head, it is in a fixed position to the side. I really wish they did a swivel joint like they did on the Vindicator Alpha Flight figure, where you can actually rotate her hair. I'm not really going to go into articulation as I think you guys are familiar with the Sunfire body mold. And here's Tarantula from the early Hasbro Spider-Man series. The figure is significantly shorter and the Tarantula logo is kind of slightly lower compared to the new one. The rest of the lines are quite similar. The face sculpt is quite decent, just really kind of small because he has a small body mold. And at the back, he is bare as well, just like in the comics. The straps at the back of the head goes upwards instead of to the side. For the stingers at the feet, it is one solid piece with a toe hinge joint. Here's a size comparison with the Renew Your Vows Spidey and the SDCC Raft Box Set Spidey. The new Tarantula figure is definitely an upgrade over the previous one. If he had some alternate hands, he would definitely be able to pull off better poses. Now on to the Rose. Now this Rose figure is really kind of unexpected for me. Because I don't think he appeared in the comics recently and neither is he a major Spider-Man villain so I feel it's quite a random thing that we got the Rose. This figure is the only one that packs with accessories, a pair of fists, a pair of guns, right trigger finger hand, left pointing hand and of course a stock of Rose. Huh. Otherwise how is he gonna show some flower power right? Huh. The guns are the same as the ones from the Winter Soldier flashback figure. It's kind of weird that he got two guns but only has one trigger finger hand. And I don't know why he has a pointing hand either. <laughs> and here's the rose. You can see the sculpted petals. It can be placed on the trigger finger hand as well. The trigger finger hand hinges up and down instead of left and right. Now onto the figure, he does look like how he does in the comics with the white suit. He has however worn a combat suit instead of this white suit. I do wonder if Hasbro is going to do that version of him. The head sculpt is decent. These silver shades are sculpted on the face. There is a paint chip for mine over there. The rose is glued to the suit and it is slightly smaller than the stock of rose. One thing about the suit is that it feels kind of big and long. Looks kind of baggy on this figure. 
But actually, if you were to compare the length of the suit, it is actually about the same length as this normal Marvel Legends suited figure. The MCU Jonah has it a bit shorter. I saw a mod done by a fellow reviewer friend where he actually cut a portion of the bottom part over here so that it looks shorter and also cutting down this line and the other side to create a flap so that he's able to do better poses. Because when the suit is like this, it's really kind of restricting the movements of the legs. And so for articulation, the head is on the normal ball hinge joint, able to look up this much and down, not really able to tilt, able to rotate of course. Hands go up to the side this much, bicep, swivel, double hinge, elbow joint, pinless, wrist hinge and swivel. There is a waist swivel inside. There is an app crunch inside but of course it is restricted by the suit. Able to do this much split but because of the suit, he's not able to hold that position. Just a maximum of this distance. Legs not able to go up to the front much because of the suit again. Thigh swivel, double hinge knee joints, pinless, swivel joint on the ankles, and pivot and hinge. Typical articulation of a Marvel Legends figure in a suit. The two main difference that it has over the old Marvel Legends suit figures is that it has the pinless joints and also it has that swivel joint on the ankles. This one doesn't have that. The Tarantula figure is slightly taller than the Rose and here's Renew Your Vows Spidey again and Raft Box Set Spidey. The Rose figure is slightly shorter than both these Spideys. So, the Tarantula is definitely an upgrade over the old figure and of course the major downside is that it doesn't come with any accessories at all and also it should have been on the Renew Your Vows body mold or having the mid torso ball joint instead of ab crunch. And the good thing about the Rose figure is that it has a lot of accessories but articulation is kind of slightly limited on the legs because of the suit. It's kind of on the slightly longer side but otherwise it's kind of a decent figure. Thanks for watching. Do check out my review of the bootleg retro Spidey if you haven't seen it or check out my other videos at my channel.